Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we will deploy our Mon application to the cloud. So we will be using Heroku cloud-based platform as a service because it is easy to use and it also includes a free service tier. So for this demo, we require a Heroku account and we also need a GitHub account. So just navigate to Heroku account in the browser and then we need to click on sign up. So here I'll just sign up and uh, once done, I'll be right back. So I have created a Heroku account and I'm also logged in inside this and I also logged in into my GitHub account. Okay. And here we will create a new repository. So if you don't have a GitHub account, so you just sign up and uh, you can create your account on GitHub. So to create a repository, okay, we need to click on this new. And here I will type man hyphen auth. Okay. And now we will add git ignore file manually so no need to do anything here and let's create okay let's click on create so these are the steps which we need to follow but before that we will create the git ignore file so let's go to uh, visual studio code the reason we need to create git ignore file because we don't want our node underscore module to manage uh, to be managed through our git repository okay so we need to create a git ignore file inside this root directory okay so i'll create a new file and here i'll type dot git ignore okay and hit enter and here uh, we need to include node underscore modules okay let's save this that will ignore every branch of node modules in our project okay so let's open the terminal by pressing control and back tick key let's clear this now we will go on the desktop and i will go inside my folder which is mon hyphen auth and i will go inside clients folder and i'll delete dot git file okay sorry folder and even i'll delete uh, git ignore okay so these two files we don't want inside the client we need to go okay inside mon auth which is my folder i'll go inside clients folder and i'll delete uh, the folder which is git folder and the dot git ignore file okay now we will follow the steps okay so first one is git init so let's do git init okay then we need to add all the files so git add space dot hit enter now let's try git status so these are all the new files which have been added okay let me clear it now let's do git commit okay so here it is git commit m first commit let's copy this only okay i'll paste this and hit enter okay so this is done now uh, we don't want to create a new branch called main so here i will do git uh, remote add origin okay so let's copy this paste it this is done then we need to get push origin okay so let's clear this get push hyphen u origin and instead of main i'll do master okay and hit enter now let's go to the browser and let's refresh this page so all the files are uploaded here okay now let's go back to vs code and let's close this file let me clear this terminal okay then now we need to add a script inside package.json so let's open package.json and here okay let me minimize this after the test script i will add a script and here we need to give the name as Heroku okay so this is the name we need to give Heroku hyphen post build okay so this is the script name and inside this I will do npm underscore config underscore production okay production equals to false we need to give it false because we cannot run the script in production okay so we need to keep it as false 
then we need to do npm install and then hyphen then hyphen hyphen prefix space client because we are running this in client okay uh, then we need to type and and npm run build hyphen hyphen prefix client okay so we need to run it again and let's save this so this is done we have uh, written the script for it and then one more thing we need to do in server.js so let's open server.js and here after comp uh, after all the routing is done we need to add a condition so let me first add a comment production so this is the condition for production so if process dot env dot node underscore env if this is equal to production okay if this is true okay if process dot env dot node underscore env is equal to production then we need to use app dot use okay and inside this we will write express dot static and here we need to type client slash build okay and then we need to use app dot get and here i'll do asterisk request response and this will be an arrow function and inside this i'll send response send file and we need to use path dot resolve underscore underscore dir name okay this will be a directory name and the directory name will be client then we need to build the client and we need to use index dot html okay so we are basically checking to see that if we are in a production so we are going to tell the app to use my static client built and also using app get okay so i am setting up my build on the server okay and this will be the minified version of index.html again this is showing okay f we need to use this all this should come after the routes okay so here we have two routes after completing the two routes we need to use this condition now we need to install heroku command line interface so let's go to uh, the browser here we need to click on this icon and here we need to click on documentation and after this we need to click on heroku cli and install the heroku cli okay so here are the options uh for mac it is showing brew uh this is the path which we need to install and here is the option to install it on window so if you are using window then you can just click on this and install it i am using mac so i will be using this i have already in, uh, installed brew in my machine so if you don't have brew so let's go here and do install node.js movie i have already done it so i will not do it again so when open to install go here and then you need to follow this okay install homebrew first you need to install homebrew then you can install uh using this command okay you can install heroku using this command so let me do it here let's go to visual studio code and here i'll do install yeah let's do it maybe it will take some time so i'm pausing the video so once it is done then i'll be back so this is done okay let me clear this one second let me make it bigger so use heroku cli auto complete via homebrew shell completion follow homebrew installation instruction okay that's fine uh let me clear this now we need to see heroku version so heroku space hyphen hyphen version okay if i do an enter okay here it is showing me uh the version okay just ignore this warning so uh as you can see if you are using mac so you need to install through homebrew and first you need to install homebrew okay in your machine then only you can install it uh heroku through homebrew otherwise if you are using windows then you can just download this and you can install it and if you don't know how to install homebrew you can just go through, go through some tutorials on google okay so it is not difficult okay i already installed it so i can't show you in this video but i have shown how to install uh heroku now uh, we need to log in into heroku so i'll do heroku space login okay hit enter press any key to open okay in the browser so it will open that in the browser i'll just click on login 
and it is logged in okay uh, now we need to create application on Heroku so let's go to the terminal let me clear this and here I will do Heroku create so this will create our application let's hit enter so the application has been created now we need to go to Heroku okay and here let's click on dashboard so this is the application which is created let's go inside this now we need to add this as a remote repository okay so for that we need to click on deploy and we need to scroll down and this is the command which we need to copy so let's copy this command and let's go back to the terminal and i'll paste this command and hit enter this is also done and now we need to push the changes to Heroku. So we need to type git push Heroku master and hit enter. So this will take some time. Okay, so it is done. So let's copy this link and let's go to the browser and in the new window i'll paste the link which i have copied so now as you can see our application is live so if i click on login and if i log in here so it should work so we are getting this logout page welcome page so we have successfully deployed our application on Heroku. so this is it for this video and this is it for this course so I'll see you in some other videos and in some other courses. Okay, so till then take care and bye-bye.